My name is Craig. I founded with some friends an organization called Free the Children. As a group of friends, we came together because we believed that we're never too young to change the world. Anyone can change the world. And on one of the topics that we need your help is to make hunger disappear in your communities, in your school, in your state, and in your country. Whether you're 11, whether you're 4, 13, or whether you are 16 or 17 or 18, we still want you to get involved in this campaign. And no matter your age, you still get to experience the amazing part of making hunger disappear. We want schools involved. We want young people involved. We want families involved. We need you to be the ambassadors. Tell your friends at the schools you represent. And what do we want you to tell them? One in five families with children will face hunger. That's wrong. That's unacceptable. That's something we've got to eliminate in this country. 36% of those, so one in three who use food banks are young people, are kids, are people your age or younger. And even in Minnesota, one in 10 Minnesotans will miss 10 meals a month. Hunger isn't just in a far off country or some other part of America. This is right here in communities. They're the people who sit next to you in class. They're people who are your friends. And maybe they're even, at times, your own family. So we want to take this on as a challenge, as a mission, and we need your help. Last year, last year, 160,000 pounds of food was collected. Your state was the number one in America with We Scare Hunger. You collected more food than anyone else last year. Now, how many of you are willing to take part in We Scare Hunger this year? is to cross the 200,000 pound of food mark. How does it work on the day of Halloween? Go with hairs, at least two of you together, knocking on the doors, collecting food for the food bank. Great if you coordinate it to have a car or like a wagon or something to help carry it because food can get heavy. And then how does it work after that? Well, you bring it to your local food bank or sort it at your school and sort it together to help tackle hunger. Hi, my name is Laura Bruns. I am a junior at Apollo Senior High School, and I am the student advisor for Apollo We Act. And last night, I went out and trick-or-treated for non-perishable food items. The people who did give were very gracious. They gave a whole bunch. It was very exciting. I think it's very cool that kids my age and even younger are going out and trick-or-treating for non-perishables. It, it puts a completely new spin on Halloween. It makes Halloween much less about you. I thought it was important to go out to get food because I have like so much of this stuff and I thought that it was just fair that everybody else got it too. Now, more people don't go to bed hungry every night and they have food to eat. Well, it's good to know that the people who didn't have food before now have food because we went out on trick-or-treating. Everyone deserves food. It's a necessity, and obviously some people can't afford it. So just going out for like three or two hours and doing something fun that we can help others is just it's really fun. And knowing we made an impact, even if it's a little one, it's still an impact. It's important for me to do it. And even if I wasn't the student advisor, I'd still want to do it.